Hello again everybody. I'm outside under the blue sky and the hot sun. I've thought of some things that you could do in your gardens to do with the story of the sun and the moon and the water. First, we're going to have a little play with some water. We're going to do water drawing. I'm just going to put my camera up high so you can see what I'm doing. I've got a jar of water. I've got two paintbrushes. One is big and one is little. I'm going to use the big one. First of all, you can see that my shadow is on the ground. You can see my hand, you can see my big hat, and you can see my dress. And look, you can see the jar with the paintbrushes too. I'm going to stand here so I can paint with the water on the ground, I'm going to paint a big sun, like in the story. It's the middle of the sun. I'll have to work quickly because the sun is so hot, it might dry the sun up. Now I'm going to do the hot rays of the sun. Shine, shine, shine. Can you see that the hot sun is already drying up our picture? The hot sun is making the picture disappear. Hmm. You could paint lots of things. You could even paint a bit of your own shadow. I'm going to put my hand here and I'm going to see if I can paint my fingers, there they go, there's my thumb, there's my arm, oh look, I'm waving. If you've got some paint brushes in your house, you could do water painting too, and then watch the sun, dry them all up. <laughs> I hope you have fun doing that, and there's something else you can do too, but I'll show you that. Next. Hello. <laughs> I'm playing with the sun. Here's the shadow of my hand. I wonder if you can guess what this is in my hand. <laughs> yes, it's the sunshine shining through my glass of water. <laughs> It makes beautiful patterns where the light catches the glass. It looks like a magical diamond shining bright. I had an idea. I thought I could draw round my shadow. I've got a pencil. I'm holding my hand over the paper so my fingers can be seen in the shadow. I'm going to try and keep my hand very, very still. If you want to do this, it might be good to get somebody else to put their hand over the paper while you draw around it. It's tricky. Here I go. I'm following the line. Oh, sometimes I go off the line a little bit because I can't see my hand very well. How am I doing? I've done my thumb and one finger, two fingers, three fingers, and four, and my arms. Do you know, I can even see the teeny tiny hairs on my arms in the shadow. Oh, there I am. <laughs> now I can wave to my own hand. I had a look in the kitchen and I found some interesting things. Look at this. <laughs> it makes a great shadow. I'm going to try and draw around this. 
I'm following the line. Here I go. <gasps> it's really tricky. There's so many little holes. One, two, three, four, more and more and more and more and more and more. <gasps> it will take me a long time to do all the holes, but you might like to have a go. You also might like to try drawing some of your toys. I found a toy in the basket. Rah, can you guess who this is? <laughs> of course, it's dinosaur. <laughs> I'm going to try and draw dinosaur's teeth. It's tricky because my hand is in the shadow. I'm going to try drawing with my hand I don't normally draw with. Oh, here I go around dinosaur's teeth. <coughs> rah, rah, rah. Dinosaur's chin, dinosaur's chest, dinosaur's claws. <gasps> now it looks as if dinosaur is in my hand. Oh my goodness, I'm going to draw dinosaur's eye. <gasps> Better be careful. You can make shadows with anything. Look, here is the jar with the paint brushes in. Here is a plant. From my garden. <laughs> I like making it move. See what you can find that makes an interesting shadow that you might like to draw. Have fun playing with the sun. Bye!